Iranian-based news agency Tasnim reported on Wednesday that Iranian military scientists have acquired technical knowledge on how to manufacture a cruise missile capable of traveling at supersonic speeds. According to the report, the homegrown missile is currently undergoing trials. As part of the latest generation of Iranian cruise missiles, the supersonic cruise missile paves the way for a new chapter in the development of Iran's defense technologies. It is worth noting that the difficulty of intercepting a cruise missile is very high. Prior to the development of the weapon, Iranian cruise missiles were built with a rocket takeoff engine for the launching of the missile and a homegrown turbojet engine, dubbed Tolu Sunrise, for the second stage, the report states. It further says that the use of ramjet engines in the naval cruise missiles and the development of supersonic cruise missiles will contribute to Iran's response in case of direct military conflict. A ramjet is a type of air-breathing engine that employs the forward motion of the engine to take in air for combustion that enacts a jet thrust. It can work most efficiently at supersonic speeds of Mach 3 and can operate up to speeds of Mach 6. Hypersonics are a variant of other current generations of missiles, including cruise missiles, which are deployed by a number of armed forces around the world and are known as hypersonic cruise missiles HCMs. By comparison, the U.S. Tomahawk cruise missile flies at a speed of approximately 920 km per hour. while the Russian 3M54K caliper reaches speeds of up to 3,550 km per hour. Another subcategory includes hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, which are hypersonic warheads carried by ballistic missiles. They are usually ground-to-ground -ground systems. During the final phase of the flight, the warhead is released from the rocket booster and glides toward its target at hypersonic speed. While a ballistic missile uses projectile motion to deliver a warhead, a cruise missile is powered throughout the entire duration of its flight. HGVs, such as the Russian Avangard, reportedly can reach speeds of up to Mach 27. According to Iran, the FATA is a ballistic hypersonic missile. Besides high-speed, hypersonic weaponry is distinguished by its ability to maneuver during flight. Both these characteristics make it much more difficult for anti-missile systems to detect, track and engage. Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadat, the commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, Aerospace Force, boasted that the FATA missile cannot be destroyed by any missile and that it can breach all anti-missile shields. However, this statement is simply not true. Even hypersonic missiles can be intercepted, although it is more challenging compared to engaging a standard aerial threat. Iran has not had the opportunity to test its new missile against foreign systems, such as THAAD, SAMPT or the widely used US-made Patriot surface-to-air missile system. It is worth noting that the Patriot system reportedly intercepted a Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile over Kyiv in May 2023. If Iran actually possesses hypersonic technology, it would be a member of a truly elite and still very exclusive group. Currently, only China and Russia have deployed hypersonic missiles at least according to their declarations. 
The latter has the CH-47 M2 Kinzel hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile, with a declared range of around 2,000 km and speeds reaching Mach 7 to 10, as seen in Ukraine. It is a modification of the 9M723 Iskander ground-to-ground -ground missile. The Americans are developing hypersonic technologies, too. There is the HTV-2 Falcon hypersonic glide vehicle with a declared maximum speed of Mach 20 during the glide phase, as well as air-to-air -air missiles, such as the Hawk, hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept, and the AM-183AAARW, air-launched rapid response weapon. The latter project, despite several successful tests, was terminated this year. Virtually all contemporary leading powers recognize the significance of hypersonic technologies. Projects of this kind are being pursued in several countries, but so far, few have obtained operationally ready weapon systems, although the theoretical concept dates back to the 1930s in Nazi Germany. Speeds achieved by hypersonic projectiles are impressive, but it should also be underlined that conventional ballistic missiles can fly at high speeds, too. They also reach supersonic velocities, especially during their terminal glide phase. For example, Iran possesses the Shahab-3 liquid-propelled medium-range ballistic missile, which reportedly reaches a speed of Mach 7 in its final stage. Iran has not clarified whether the FATA missile could attain hypersonic speeds during the initial phase, which is highly unlikely, or during its terminal phase, which is not an exceptional feature.